Hello everyone out there, it's your Stephanie again here in AMA and today we're going to be discussing a very very important topic, very important to every African here in Australia. Um, the video we had on our, on our website actually went viral and a lot of people have been sending us messages asking us to finalize this topic. Um, so remember in the video one of the girls said something that I really liked what she said. She said, we're trying to blend in the society but then our parents want us to be like, be at home, clean, cook and get married. But in their head, what you're thinking is that they're young, wild and free. <laughs> <laughs> We're trying to um, blend in with, with the society around us, but then our parents want us to be like, home, clean, cook, get, get married and all this. But like in our head, yeah. it's we're young, wild and free. <laughs> That's it. Yeah. What do you think? could be the solution to this because it's quite catchy isn't it it was it was a very interesting point you know like some of them they very they came here when they were very young yeah they some of them were born here so you know they've grown up with the culture here they probably don't have an understanding of what kind of cultural background their parents have grown up in yeah all they're thinking about is we are here now you know this is the culture we know you know, we are trying to, to balance these two cultures. So yeah. they'll find it definitely very hard for them because, you know, they don't understand where their parents are from. And as you know, as, as somebody from an African background, in our mother's age or in our parents' age, by the time you get to puberty, you're expected to cook, yeah. you're expected to clean. Of course. They start getting you ready to be, you know. To, I am, to I'm, be a, a, I'm from yeah. a family of four guy, four boys. Yes. So I think I started cooking when I was four. Mm -hmm. So your parents actually get you ready, you yeah. know, prepare you for things like this. I think yeah. when I started living on my own when I was 15, yeah. Yeah. I could do everything for myself yeah. because I allowed myself to be trained yeah. and things yeah. like that. Yeah. I think that's one thing they don't really understand, yeah. you know. I know you're already here, there's so many cultures, like friends yeah. are telling you these, this, friends yeah. are telling you that. Yeah. Yeah. It's quite difficult to kind of choose in the way you, what parts, like yeah. you want to choose or what or things, yeah, yeah. want to hold Just on as to. I said before, you know, it's about choices, you know. If, if you think those choices are good, like for me, when I came here, I was 17. So when I tell people I was 17 when I came here and I'm still grounded and I still have managed Ooh, to blend the two that's, cultures. That's huge. Yeah. So You're still I'm grounded managed, till now? You till now, yeah, so. till now. Okay. I'm still grounded until now. But, <laughs> but, you know, <laughs> but, you know, some of them, they don't understand. They're young, you know. They want to experience how life is. So, you know. All I can say is if you're, if you're young, wild and free, you know, you have to do it in a way whereby it doesn't affect you as a person yeah. and it doesn't affect your parents. Yeah. And as long as you, your main goal is to be a positive role model in the community and to achieve and have a successful life, that's the most important thing. I don't think their parents don't well, want I them think, to be wild I think, and free. I think um, I can argue that with you because they, they, they actually think going to school will make their parents happy yeah. and um, being educated is good for them. But they want to mix those two things together. And also they also say that they were trying to impress their parents, yeah. you know. Having an education is, at the end of the day, it's not going to benefit you. It's, go, it's not going to benefit your parents, parents, I'm sorry, but it's going to benefit you in the long run. Yeah. You know, you're going to be a career woman, you're going to probably be married, you're going to have a career. It's going to be the same for your children. Those are the same examples you want to give your children. All their parents are looking out for them is their best interest, yeah. but they don't see it because they're young. You know, they want to have a, a good time or they want to be wild or, or they want to blend in with, as I said, with their new culture, new you know, culture, yeah. and just fit in, you know. It's quite yeah. difficult to say it now when yeah. you're already, you know, gone past that age of 18, yeah. 19. Yeah. When yeah. you're there, you still felt like yes. you've been punished, you yeah. know what I mean? Yeah, I understand. But now you've gone past that stage, yeah. you think, oh, they should listen, you know, yeah. and take yeah. this into... Um, into consideration whatever their actions are, you know? Yeah. And uh, they, they understand their rights here now, you know? Yeah. Back in Africa, the parents are the ones that uh, put the rules and you had to follow those rules. But here, mm -hmm. they, ha they feel like they have their rights, they have the freedom to do whatever they want. So, so I guess, you know, that, that gives them an option to, um, to choose what path they take in life. Yeah. So their parents maybe don't play a whole entire role in their lives. Yeah. They have choices on what they want to do too. So. Because when you're 17, you're supposed to be independent. Yeah. Because if you consider the Australian culture, yeah. um, when you're 18, you're meant to actually go out there and work for yourself and yeah. be responsible. Yes. Yes. You know, I think they should also, but back in Africa, we don't see those things. Yes. Like we're 25, you're 26, you're still at home oh, and your parents doing, playing work, around yeah. and doing things like that. Yeah. yeah. So what's the positive impact 
um, being here in Australia has had on you? Australia has had very many positive impacts. Just to name a few, I'm just going to start with the basic things like education. Education has been one of the positive things that Australia has brought um, into my life or into other people's lives. Another thing is, you know, just the life here is much easier. Living as a refugee, you know, I experienced a lot of hardships where we were living as refugees and having come here has been a peace of mind. We've had a peace of mind here. We are very happy here in Australia. My whole family is happy here. So I think that's just one of the positive things that Australia has brought into my life. I'll take, also you, job I'll take, you, back. I'll take you back a little bit. You yeah. talked about education. Yeah. I went to, I went to, I actually studied in Nigeria a few, yeah. few years before I came to Australia. Yeah. Do you think there's any difference between the educational system here in Australia and that in, back in your country in yeah. Africa? Very big difference. There's a very big difference. And the education system there is uh, a little bit, it's, a, it's very hard. Yes. I, I was, I was thinking about that. that. As well, yeah. You know, coming to Australia and, and get, um, getting into the education system here, you know, for me, it wasn't a very big challenge because yeah. I came from a system whereby everything was just hard. And then coming here, the education system here is really is really good. And I like it better. I like the education system here better. Uh, um, I like it as well. But yeah. I think back in Africa, this is, you know, exact period, you're struggling, you want yeah. to finish your coursework and things yeah. like that. Yeah. Whereas here, you're kind of more relaxed. Yes. You know, you think you know what's going to come out in the exam. You know exactly where to read. Whereas when you're writing the exams back yeah. in Nigeria, you're like, yeah. oh, you my Lord, everywhere. you know, you read yeah. everything. Well, yeah. that's really good. But yeah. what's, you've talked about a lot of positive things that has happened to you. Yeah. Um, do you have, what's the most challenging thing for you being here in Australia? Some of the challenging things was the difference in culture. When I came here, it was... The, the culture back there and the culture here was a little bit different, yeah. you know. So, and trying to kind of blend my my African culture and the Australian culture here was a very big challenge, just trying to mold the two. At the, at the moment, I have achieved that. So I've molded the two and I work perfectly with the, both cultures now. But when I first came here, it was a very big challenge trying to mold the two cultures. But I like I like I like the expression you've yes. just used. Trying yes. to mold both cultures yes. together. Yes. See if you're <laughs> trying to mold both cultures yes. to suit you, I guess. Yes. Mm -hmm. But uh, this is this this question is really really important. Yes. Um, you're trying to mold those cultures so you can fit into the society. Yes. Um, are you how are you getting along with your parents? Because I know mm -hmm. most African kids who've come to Australia, yes. they've always had this clash between um, the their parents, parents yes. cause they've got different cultures. Yes. They've, the parents are used to a particular kind of way of yes. doing things. Yes. But these kids, they've come into this different culture and you know, this, they like, oh, yeah. they just overwhelmed and yeah. things like that. Do yeah, you I find agree. you have difficulties with your parents or no? For me, for me, I didn't have that problem with my mom. I, I don't know what was different about me, but personally, I didn't have a problem with my mom. Just when I came here, I was 17 years. I was a mature person. I had already very strong roots with my African culture and then coming here. So those roots stuck with me. And also with, with the cultural thing is about choice, the choices you make. You know, so that's, you can, that's, yeah. That's quite you can You can choose to, to maybe take up your new culture and go with it, which for sure is gonna give you that clash with your parents. But if you mold the two, and your mom sees or your parents they see that you actually know where you're going to in a positive direction i don't think there should be any cultural class you, you strike me like such a good girl yeah. you try and tell me you come back home at eight o'clock <laughs> and you stay in the house and you don't go out partying and I, things like that you, i do i oh, do go out no, but good. my mom my mom knows i tell her i'm like mom i'm gonna be here and she understands gonna, perfectly. she understands perfectly so i tell her mom we have a birthday tonight and we are going to be here we're going to be back a bit late as long as she knows that we are going out she's she's fine with it okay considering yeah. the fact that you have this I just don't want to use that word, this yes. straight relationship with your mom. Yeah. What can you tell all the African girls out there or African kids out there who are actually having issues with their parents due to yeah. this cultural thing? Yeah. How do you think they can handle it? Like, it's, about, yeah, it's about respect. It's about understanding. Understanding that my mom is from a different kind of cultural background. She was brought up in that culture. She grew up. She's she's grew up, grown up in that yeah. culture. And me having come here and experienced a different cult, kind of culture, it's about respecting that my mom is from a different generation or from a different cultural background, and trying to respect that and understanding that. So once you understand that, that will you know it will smoothen things out, and you know it will make you you know get along well with your parents if you respect where she's from, 
she'll also understand where you're from. You know, you're from an African culture and you've come to this culture and you're trying to like fit in and mold the two together and still be grounded in your in your old roots. I think, so I I think, think it's a yeah. two-way thing as well. The parents yes. should understand that these kids have come into a different culture, yeah. you know, without planning it to be here, yeah. you know? Yeah. And the kids should understand that their parents are used to a different kind yes. of life. I think yes. there has to be kind of some kind yes. of dialogue. Yeah, but dialogue. anyway. Emma, thank you so much. You've yeah. shared so much of your experiences today, which is really good. But I'm not sure about the parts where you're still being grounded all, all this time because I don't want to be grounded at all. Um, thank you so much for for watching today, and there's so many so much more to come your way. Um, have a wonderful day. Bye. See ya.